Hi everyone, welcome to this edition of Addington News. Darren Williams last week. I think things COVID-wise went pretty well uh, with the double vaccination, the need to have that to come to the footprint that is an integrated way. Yeah, look, we've been pretty cautious, making sure that we did that correctly for the first time. We had 500, 600 people upstairs at various functions as well. But look, it went really smoothly. Pre pretty much people were ready to go. We scanned some, we viewed some. Licence holders through the state was really good. So really pleased. It's given us the ability to free up a wee bit more in and around spectators, particularly around that fence area, which I know was a bit frustrating for people scanning back into another event from the work bubble. So we're able to get rid of that this week. So pleased about that. It's getting easier all the time. People are helping us by doing what they've got to do. Um, yes, yeah, so they're really good, really pleased. All right, team race card this week. A little bit light on numbers, but not on quality. There's some smarties there. First goes at 10 past five. Yeah, 10 past five, last at 9.39. Um, yeah, they are a wee bit small. We've got a, um, a number of transitional type races for those horses that are technically a year younger than they would have been. So we run those on behalf of the industry and are happy to do so. Um, they look easy on paper sometimes, they weren't last week, we thought Mark Thurden was going to clean house but it took him to the last race to win one which is the most unusual. Um, yes, yeah, so there's some good quality there anyway. We've been really enjoying the performances over the last 18 months but certainly in the 12 month uh, period there where time in the bottle dominated uh, Addington Raceway and the trotting ranks and well John and Sandra Bounce have had such good fun they've put up a challenge. Yeah, they have. Look, um, she's a bit of a darling of Eddington climbing a bottle, just like an ATM machine, turned up and just got some money, plus one eight. She won nine in her career, one at four, and then eight in one season at Eddington. So look, the guys have come up with some fantastic prizes for us. I think we'll call it something like the Time in the Bottle Eight Win Challenge. They're challenging anyone to win eight races in one season at Eddington. So that season will be the new season, January through to December. Um, it's going to include some accommodation at the motel in Geraldine, which could be linked around the Geraldine race meeting, perhaps. Um, a voucher on the bar for food and drink, um, a couple of rounds of golf, we'll match it with another couple hundred bucks on the bar or something like that. So I think if someone won that, uh, apart from having a good time with their horse, I'll have a good time with them. I'll have a bloody good time with John and Sandra at Geraldine. No, so no, really no. good, really pleased to do it. And, and a great resource. Yeah, uh, good luck to uh, everyone trying to chase that down. Uh, the shout for the trainers that you had last year now looks like it's going to happen. Yeah, it, it does. Uh, the last race meeting of the year is the 17th of December. I've uh, been working through all of the issues around COVID to make sure that we could do it. We are going to be able to do that. There'll be an exclusive area for all licence holders that have helped us here at Addington throughout the season. They've been so good to deal with and we want to extend a wee bit of hospitality. I know the executive chef Graham's been busting his neck to open the smoker, so um, I think we'll have something off that as well as a, as a wee bit of a bite. Yeah, I've had a wee night. bit of a sample off that too, and it was outstanding, so you should uh, really look forward to that. Uh, we're going to focus on Devon Van Til and the winning performance of Anything Goes in race number one, trained by Steve Golden. That's the video we're going to leave you with, and look out for a profile on Devon. It's on the box seat this week. Um, a real talent in the box, she is. Yeah, look, she's driven six winners already from 50 drives, 13 place getters, a number of trainers using her. Terrific, terrific drive the other night, um, well rated in the front, and, and the horse won easy. Steve Dolan does a great job, especially with those first starters yep. this season. He's been lining up a few of them and they've been going pink. Um, so, look, we just wanted to focus on Devon, just as, as you have. Could be a driver to follow over the holiday break. She's doing a great job, and uh, you're yeah, an up and coming junior driver. That she is. So off the back straight, 450 metres from home. Anything goes, look at it, click it up now. A half length on cut and run. The inside third best trio waiting for the Captain Crunch passing lane. To the outside, Ranger Rick and further back, fascinated Opawa Louis, 29.9. As they go for home, the leader Anything Goes, cut and runs a length and a half away. Leader travelled well. The inside best trio behind them and now Ranger Rick down the outside, but she cuts loose on the first up or Anything Goes. And he draws out by almost three here from cut and run and Ranger Rick fighting out second and third. First time to the races and he's going home a winner. Anything goes impressive and beautifully rated there from Devin Van Tell. Second cut and run, third Ranger Rick, fourth best trio, full it across Opawa Louie. Further back fascinates Sir Monty and last in Hikuahine.